This is an overview of the ITG Center Project Performance Metrics. I'm Margaret Miller, a technology trainer from OIT's Collaborative for Academic Technology Innovation. During this overview, I will show you how to add and customize the Project Performance Metrics portlet. I will define the 13 project metrics that are displayed in the portlet and introduce you to reading and interpreting them. We'll take a brief look at project variances and some examples of corrective actions that may need to be taken to get a project back on track. Finally, at the end of this overview, I will cover the resources available and where to go for additional help. You may find it helpful to print out the quick reference guides that are provided with this online tutorial. We will be covering a lot of detailed information in this training, all of which is documented for you in the quick reference guides. They are available in the column to the right of this video. In this series of videos, we'll be checking in with the Dream Institute Tracking App Project. Throughout this six-month project, we'll follow Jane Redding, the project manager, as she analyzes the project metrics to understand how the project is performing and to see how these metrics can be used to help her improve the outcome of the project. So why are project performance metrics important? The project performance metrics supply project managers with information about the current state of their project. They help to answer the question, are you where you had planned to be at this point in the project? And if not, are you ahead or behind schedule? They also forecast what the future state of the project will be at its conclusion. Is it likely that you will accomplish the work you had planned in the scheduled time frame? By reviewing the metrics over time, project managers are able to spot trends in the performance of a project and introduce corrective measures if needed. The information av available in the metrics can help project managers succeed in managing their projects. In addition, the metrics are used by the Enterprise Project Management Office to produce on-demand and quarterly reports for the senior management team. I've asked Garfield Bowen, the director for OIT's Enterprise Project Management Office, if he would say a few words about the project performance metrics. Hi, I am Garfield Bowen, Director of OIT's Enterprise Project Management Office. Many of you are familiar with troubled projects, those that have time delays, scope creep, and or budget overruns. A new portlet has been developed and released to help you to manage your projects more effectively and efficiently. As mentioned earlier, this portlet includes 13 project performance metrics that when used will enable you to identify very quickly when your project starts going off course and inform you when a corrective or proactive action needs to be taken to maintain a healthy project. Let's take this next step together as we continue to be effective stewards of the use of valuable yet limited resources. Thank you for your continued commitment and support. Thanks, Garfield. It's great to have these metrics available in ITG Center to help us keep our projects on track. This is the end of the introduction to the ITG Center Project Performance Metrics Training. In the next video, I will show you how to add the metrics portlet to your dashboard and customize it for your project.